The heartache heavy on Butler's faces. Michael Veasley still wasn't ready to face the media in the locker room. The last shot will surely replay over and over inside their minds. I was staying about half court. I thought it was going in. And that, that makes it even more, you know, a little more devastating when you think that shot's going in and then it, you know, it rims out like it did. You know, those are two great shots. You know, if anybody you want um, with the ball in the hands, it's, it's Gordon Hayward. Duke's celebration turned to disbelief. This is the Blue Devils' first national title since 2001, all because the ball bounced their way. You know, it's, it's the best feeling in the world, man. You know, when that shot did go in, I just hugged Kyle. I wanted to hug my teammates, you know, because you know, we worked so hard for this. My hard job, you know, it's, uh, it makes a difference of being national champions or not. So um, I didn't think it was going in, but I thought it had a, shot, had a chance to. So um, I'll remember it going through the air probably for the rest of my life. This was one of the best championship games ever played. Uh, out of all of them, it doesn't matter. And if that shot, by Hayward ever goes in at the end, it becomes the greatest shot in the history of college basketball. But even without that half court shot making it, we still just had an unbelievable game. This is the heartland, not Hollywood. The Butler Bulldogs wrapped up the finest season in their school's history, one shot short. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Indianapolis.